We're going to be building an entire apartment complex for less than 20,000 simoleons. Thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for early access. EA has also recently given me a creator code. So if you're interested in picking up the Sims 4 4 Rand or any other Sims pack, if you use code James at checkout, 5% of the sale will go directly to supporting this channel. So if you do end up using that code, I really appreciate it. Thanks to EA for sponsoring that portion of the video. But here we are in the new world of Tomerang. Now this is an early access version, so the software is not final. And that's also why my username is watermarked on the screen. So that'll be moving around throughout the video. But yeah, we're here in the main town area. This is where the night market is. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. And with the new residential rental lot type, we can create an apartment building that has shared bathrooms, shared kitchens, because you can use a system to create any form of multifamily residential lot, not just townhouses, duplexes. You can share a house, you can share an apartment building. So we're gonna be using that concept to try and save money so we don't have to have multiple kitchens or multiple bathrooms. Now, before we go too far into actually building this. The goal of it is to create something that we can buy as like a starter home and make better and renovate over time. So it is gonna look kind of bad and be cheap, but the goal is not to create a bad place. It's to create a story that we can tell by renovating the building through gameplay. I just wanna make that clear because we're not trying to make some horrible place that people are forced to stay, okay? <laughs> so I kind of want to build something like these, to be honest. Like I love all these little buildings together. So, well, this is the front of our lot here. I guess it should really be facing this way, but we'll definitely want an exit on the back as well for the rest of that place. So first things first, I'm going to make this, uh, hello? Uh, okay, yep, yeah, this is definitely an early version. I can't seem to select the walls. Okay, I can select this though. Individual walls you can't select. Is that is that just me? Okay, so I can select it now. I, th You know what I think's happening? It's obviously a bug, first of all, but in the residential rental mode, I can't select an individual wall. And I think it's because it's expecting me to select a room and then select which units are part of. Uh, so Sims team, I found a bug in like 10 seconds. Anyway, let's go back. Let's just build in residential and we'll swap it over. I'm gonna do it like this. So it's kind of like following a similar design aesthetic as that guy over there. Now, I think the most expensive thing is gonna be all the walls here. We're already at five grand. So that that is that, yeah, that's expensive. But I think we might be able to work with it, okay? It's possible. Nine grand, easy. Ah, oh, I do want four floors because it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks way cooler the higher you get. <laughs> like if we can get this to go all the way up. Okay, how much? Let's just see, let's just see. Let's just see how much it costs. Cause that's cool. If we could do like a tall building similar to that guy over there. Well, I guess their top level, their building's actually a lot shorter to be fair. Mine's quite long. So maybe I just need to downsize this. Maybe I've made it too big. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one to there. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is gonna save money. I don't mind like little bits sticking out here and there. And I think we can actually use some of this to our advantage, create some cool balconies and stuff. Which I'm gonna keep that there. All right, we're at 12 grand. And I think this is something we can work with. So we have, how much are those new windows? These ones, these sort of maze windows they're called. The secret maze, 50 bucks. Okay, might be too much, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm already I'm already so stoked. All right, this is gonna go here. I, Cause I wanna create like, this will be like a little balcony area and I'm gonna put windows there. Windows are gonna be like the shutters. Cause then this could also be a balcony separate. All right, so these are our new wallpapers. This one's really good cause it's just a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, so I think this will actually be great. I don't know if I want that green. I feel like we, need, we definitely need a pink. That's for sure, yes. Then we'll go like a blue maybe in the middle. And what about this orange kind of, well, it's kind of, it's more like a peach kind of color. I feel like the blue is a little too nice. Maybe this lighter blue. Yeah, that one. It's still, it's still nice. Look, it's, this, this place is not gonna be horrible, but it's supposed to look cheap, you know? <laughs> so we're gonna work with that as well. So I'm gonna take some design cues from these buildings. So you can see we've got all these different little balconies on different levels. The top level has got like a fence around it with solar water heaters on the roof, uh, air conditioning units, that kind of stuff. We've got 12 grand though. That's the other thing. I'm, again, I might have to downsize this more. Maybe this end building is a little too big actually. I'm gonna actually bring this level back. That'll save a bit of cash. And then we can have like a rooftop area here. So do a little balcony there. I think that'll be nice. And then I like the idea of one here, like not going all the way out. And then I'm gonna do a little fence there. And I figured like some plants or something there. I don't know. I just get like this concrete in here, which is actually a little too expensive. You know what? I should probably use the free concrete. Let me just change the color, get darker. I'm thinking, can we put like a little vent here? I don't know, just some like services is what I was saying. Like this little other vent, I don't know. Yeah. And then, not that one. Where's the, this one? Slot this guy in here. Nice. Then around the front, I'm gonna have one here as well. Cause this will be like our entrance area. Now, if I do a column, it will be taller. I guess cause my walls are short, right? Yeah. What if we just put it above? 
and then I do this and I do this. Where are we? We're at 13 grand. Okay, I gotta, I think I'm gonna do what I wanted, like I'm gonna design how I want it to be. And then we might have to start pairing it back because it's gonna start costing too much money. I don't even know if I like that to be honest. I don't think I do. I'm gonna, I, I don't like that. <laughs> it was a nice idea, but I think I'll just go with this. Oh, this is kind of annoying. This is a three tile wide door, but it doesn't fit on three tiles. It has to be four, interestingly. Okay. I just kind of like the look of it. It kind of, it kind of looks, <laughs> Not that inviting. <laughs> so we'll just use move objects and make it work. Yeah, make it look a little old. <laughs> okay, All right, I really got to add some more of the details that we got sort of on these buildings back here. And I think I need to start by doing some roof trims because at the moment it does not look great. I think this building needs to be a little bit more like yellow or orange because it's kind of too close to the other building in color. All right, so I'm just doing a little uh, fenced area up the top here. Similar, I was kind of sort of taking inspiration from that one just over there where it's sort of on the top level and next to it, there's another flat roofed area and it has like this sort of floor trim around it as well. And you know what? That building is actually using a snowy escape roof. So we don't have that texture at the moment. <laughs> this is just base game and for rent, which is fine because we can use these roof tiles. Might do the same sort of fencing area around the back like we did up there just so it has that sort of consistency. And then we can probably get some balconies on the side as well. Like, could we do one like here somewhere? We'll do a couple actually. Oh, actually like this could be good if I sort of offset them a little bit. So this is a balcony, this is one, and then up here, this is one, and then this is one. I guess we could do another set up the top, but I don't know if we need to. Maybe we could do one here actually. How much money am I spending? <laughs> We're at 15 grand. Okay, I don't know that this is gonna be, well, these are huge. I think I need to use a smaller one like that. Actually, I think that's still too big for the side ones. Maybe like this. Okay, how much are the actual balconies? Because they do have these balconies that we could just use. 300 bucks, is that cheaper than this? Let's see. No, these are actually cheaper, what I just built. So I guess we'll use these. <laughs> All right, so somehow I don't think that this place is gonna be under $20,000. Somehow, I, don't, I you know, call it a hunch, but uh, that might not be possible. <laughs> how much is this? Okay, James Tanner, you're in the way. 55, actually, that's not that bad. All right, well, we'll forget the, the 20,000 thing. Maybe, maybe 25, <laughs> but... Yeah, because I, I don't want to, I don't want to compromise this. Like, look, it's supposed to look run down, but if that costs us money to make it look run down, we got to do it, you know what I mean? What if I get rid of, well, maybe I could just scale it down a bit. Can I just make it like sm just smaller? Let me try that. Let's, let's see how much money I can shave off here while still keeping the essence. Okay, so I've shaved down the size of the building overall. And one of the big contributing factors to the cost were all the balconies, obviously, but mostly as much as I liked them, these awnings, because I really like them because they're like three dimensional and they look really cool, but they're $210 a pop, which if we're trying to get under 20,000, it's just not gonna work. So I just replace them all with actual roof pieces, but it means like this top floor one, for example, it replaces the fence. Cause when they're the awning items, we can actually put them on the, like the level below. So it kind of means they're now kind of floating above on the level above. Which is fine, I think overall. It just means like this, that little detail there is a bit different. But I think over, that's pretty good. So we are at 13,900 at the moment. Um, and I was just about to start doing a little bit more detailing on this building. I think we need some little balconies, maybe one at the front here. And I might do just one on the side as well. I thought the yellow was quite a nice contrast for this building. There we go, just get a few little roof sections. Beautiful. Isn't that stunning? Uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to do on this wall here. I think I might just do another wall piece like this and then one of these. This is a bit different to the other ones. Actually, I might do the same down the bottom here and just turn this into an actual cutout instead. So remove the wall, remove floor. There it goes. So it's just more of like a little cutout area. All right, now we're talking. Now we're, now we're looking like a building. I guess I got to go around and do the rest of the windows. So this green building is obviously a green building. This yellow building is obviously using green windows that are these open ones. I could do these ones here on the front that are actually closed. Now they're actually full height. As you can see, but I figure from the outside because it's closed and on the inside you actually can't see through. It doesn't look too weird to do it that way. Oh wait, there's like really, <gasps> oh yeah, no, hang on. Sorry, I've used like really nice windows. Let me change to the more scuffed up ones. <laughs> yeah. The fresh coat of paint, I feel like is like when we earn a bit more money, you know? Uh, now I would like a door up here. Kind of wish we had some of the ones from other, the other packs, but we don't. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use like this door. Or maybe, wait, what about this actually? Does this have a, no, oh, I felt I had a green. There is this door, which I believe has the matching green, but you know, this very much looks like a ground floor door with the, the security bars and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, there's also this other door, 
I guess it makes a bit more sense. It just kind of, it doesn't have any windows on it, but we might get a couple of these. I don't even know how we're getting up here. I guess a ladder, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do one window on these just to save a bit of money. The good news is these windows are not super expensive. So don't have to worry too much about it adding to the cost. But yeah, I think that's probably good. I'm not gonna do anything there or anything. Maybe, well, the other, I would like to do the air conditioning units, but like this, I think this would be a good spot for it for one, but I think it's just, they're quite expensive. So we might have to get rid of these, but oh yeah, look at that. Look at that old unit there. So it seems like the, that green one, that gr sort of green colorway is like the only one in these windows that is like rough and like cracked. It's a shame because all the others, I mean, don't, make, get, don't get me wrong. Lovely colors, but I can't use green again because there's a different building. I guess I'm just gonna have to do what red because we've got this sort of orangey roof. Is there a better roof actually that goes with it? Maybe there is like a red one. Yeah, maybe that works better. Then we're gonna have like the red windows. I would like to do more aircon units as we go up, but again, that's like 200 bucks. That's all 200. Oh no, actually 125. Not so bad, but yeah, we can't do too much. So I'm just gonna have to leave it like that. We get one window there, and then here, I guess this would actually be a good doorway as well. Maybe this can just be this door because this, I think we might have like some sort of stairs well here in the middle. Okay, we're at 15, two, two, nine. We're getting there. All right, let me do the window. Well, sorry, let me do the windows of the rest and then I'll, I'll check in. Oh, this water heater would be kind of cool. This is a non-functional one, so we don't need access to it. It would look pretty cool to have like a really gross sort of water heater here, but 200 bucks, so we're gonna have to pass. Um, yeah, so I've got the windows on this building here. I think that's kind of cool. I've left those blank at the moment because I think we'll probably end up putting some stuff down there. So we'll have to figure that out. Now I'm trying to find that fake doorway. I don't know, maybe wall decorations. Ah, oh, here we go. Impenetrable security gate. This isn't, it looks like a door, but it doesn't do anything. I was thinking maybe we could have this down here somewhere. Maybe at the bottom of this one. Oh, there's even a blue one. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's like just a big security gate. And then from the inside, it actually looks like a door as well. It doesn't work that way. I think it might be better on this side, on the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's, what's going on inside? Okay, we got to now make this functional. <laughs> 15 grand, oof. Look, it's possible we can just leave some areas empty, but if I need to get stairs in, I think is the most important for one. Uh, we need some walls. So I think we can definitely have like room there, one here. This is like our lobby all the way up and then there'll be another one here. Maybe this is a two story one or something. So we just need to get stairs in this main section. Unfortunately, doing walls gets us to 17 grand. Uh, how much are these stairs? They are not the cheapest, 96. So if we do, I know this is 572, but if I get rid of the floor underneath, 17,230 or, oh, so literally the same price. Okay, well, let's just use these ones and the new ones. Okay, so that's gonna go up there. That can go up there. Okay, so that gets us up all the way up the top. <sighs> How much are these windows? I, we don't need this many windows, do we? 35 bucks? You're out. Sorry, guys, you gotta go. <laughs> How much is this door? It looks expensive. 50 bucks? Okay, it wasn't expensive. I'm just gonna, for now, on the inside, use the same color as the outside, because that's what I can afford. <laughs> well, actually, hang on. I've, you know what? I've wasted a whole bunch of money out here. I, I keep forgetting. Oops. This is flooring I paid for. Oh my gosh, that saved so much money. Do you see that? We're down to 15. Okay, I wasted a whole bunch of money on that ground. <laughs> You're probably mentioning that. Now, kind of wish we had the terrain paint from Eco Lifestyle that is just like the concrete. What does the brick look like? Like this. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. They got it right there. Yeah, let's just do the same thing. Okay, that'll do. So we oh, that's great. Okay, we got a bit of money now. Okay, let's get some lights. Okay, okay. I think this is like our lobby here and I'm gonna use the same flooring and stuff all the way up. I actually kind of like this orange wallpaper. It's a little bit more expensive than the blue, but I like the wood trims to it. Now I would love to do ceiling paint, but that's gonna cost us money that we don't really need to spend money on right now. Ooh, we could do red stairs that actually kind of match. It actually matches the doorways and stuff. Nice. We will get the matching railings, even though it costs us money. It doesn't cost too much though, so that's good. And these fences in here and here. Now I could open this up, make it look more fancy, but I don't think I will. All right, so we got a door on that side. I think at the back, uh, can I get another one of these? What does it look like in blue? Oh, I guess we should do red, like that one. I don't know if we, I guess we don't need this door. I might, maybe I should get rid of that. How much is this, 50 bucks? I don't know, I just want some greenery or something. Just so I don't have the windows there. I guess actually, if this is gonna be, <laughs> this is supposed to be a room. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe it could be the utility room. That's a good idea. And if I use the ranch door, we can make it look really old. Yeah. Oh, the utility room could have like these as windows. And the cool thing is, even though this paint looks kind of nice, all the nasty stuff is like free. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. This is what it's about. I think some, oh yeah, some of these do cost money. Hang on, I gotta be careful. For some reason, some of these are five simoleons. 
These ones are all free. I, I don't I don't know why, but let's use the free ones. I don't think there was any floor grunge in this pack, like any puddles or anything. So we'll have to have pretty clean floor, but I guess that's fine. All right, so mail boxes. We, okay, that's probably too big. We could get these. So these can actually go inside. The individual ones act like regular residential ones where they don't go inside, but this is like, you can do this indoors. So I'm thinking maybe, hang on, let me turn move objects off first of all. We could have these in this lobby area somewhere. Maybe like here. Yeah. Look, I want to decorate it more, but I think we've got to save a bit of money here. So, okay, this is going to be an apartment or a unit here. It's got a big shop front thing though, so it's kind of a bit random. Maybe that's where I live. <laughs> and then, okay, so we're going to have an apartment here. We're going to do, oh wait, maybe this could be like the, the kitchen area where you can come and get your buffet breakfast. Mm -mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> How much are these archways? 50 bucks, 230, 50 bucks. We could do this one. This kind of goes with the, the theme. All right, this is where you get your buffet breakfast. How much are the new tiles actually? Four bucks, it's not too bad. <laughs> this is the most yellow room I've ever seen. Okay, I probably should have some windows in it though, I think. How about this? It's a little out of left field, but I'm wondering, kind of wish I had a green. It's only $30, that's why I kind of wanted to use it. Maybe we should just use it anyway. You know what I need to do on the outside? We gotta get this stuff on the outside too. I'm basically just going around putting scuff and cracks everywhere. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, actually I could probably scale some of these too. It'd probably look good. Okay, it's looking a little bit filthier now from the outside, which I'm quite pleased with. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so we need, we do need like a kitchen because we need to live. So how much is this kitchen? 175, 150. It's actually not that much more expensive, but look, we gotta go cheaper. We gotta go as cheap as possible. There's a new mini fridge, 950. Oh, wow, that's expensive. No, we gotta go the new regular fridge. I mean, the old regular fridge. We just have a microwave like this. This is where you can come get your food in the morning. <laughs> Do you need an outdoor? Oh, you know what? No, no, I'll just put a bin in the utility room, 220. This is the new bin, but I think it's a little too nice. Like it's it's very fun and colorful. So I'm just gonna put a, a wheelie bin in here. So that's our bin. Okay, a little kitchen. How much are these plants? I wouldn't mind a new plant. 55, 65, you know, maybe it's a bit too much. I'm gonna do a couple of cabinets, I think. You know, we provide here for our guests. Okay, we're at 18,000. I might have to cut back a little bit. 245, so then this new table is only $10 more than this cheapest table. So I'm wondering if we just use this one because it's new. I think I can only afford one table, unfortunately. Look, not, <laughs> not great. Oh yes, the new plastic chairs. I love these. So good. And the best thing about them, guys, they have dirty textures. So good. Oh, I could use this though. Okay, right, get get that. And you know, we'll have a little communal sitting area. How much is it? 240? Ooh, it's a little expensive. Might have to go one of these. There you go. You can come sit here and look at the day go by. Okay, I only have 1,000 Somalians to create places to live. So, oh, some of these are glitching through the wall because I've sort of placed them. Oh yeah, because it's placed too high, it should be there. Oh, hang on. I think it's off the wall still. There we go. Oh, that's a little too big too. Oh, that's all right, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's good. Now we still need to afford a bathroom. Oh, we should have shared bathroom, yes. Maybe I can put it here. Oh yeah, but this could be like a little public bathroom area right here. How much is that gonna cost me, 180? Oof, that price. How much is the bathroom door, 50 bucks? I think is it, is it the same price? Oh no, this door's cheaper. Well, we're going cheaper, so. How much is this, $40? Yeah, I was gonna say, I really want a really crappy light. I think we need really bad lighting too. I might keep that area a bit brighter, but like the hallway. Okay, one of those. That's probably all it needs, because this is actually lighting up the whole space, so that's working pretty well. Okay, Um, how am I gonna do this? Because if this is a shared bathroom, we need to be able to go to the toilet and also shower. Maybe the utility room needs to be a little smaller still. And then I have this space. Oh, this is getting expensive. Oh, how much are the toilets? Because I still need to afford beds. And actually, we're only going to be able to have beds if... Because I guess if I get the, the squat toilet maybe in here in its own room. Oof. We need another... No, maybe it doesn't need a light. It does need a window though, I feel. How is this going to work? Because it's like, yeah, they can use a toilet. But then if I have a shower in here, that also needs to be a separate room. So it's kind of getting a little expensive, you know? But I guess we have to do what we have to do, right? It has to be separate. Because this needs to be a shared toilet that everyone can use. Okay, so I need a door there and I need a door here. And then the sink here. I'm gonna have to save money somewhere else. What is this? Oh, these showers are so nice. I'll have to use that one. But we're over 20 grand now. Okay, well, we'll figure out some money saving in a second. And I'm gonna use this. Okay, so now Sims can come in, shower and use a toilet at the same time as other Sims. So that should work fine. 
Okay, well, can, I guess, do we need a couch? Do we need, well, we don't need those. We, that's fine, okay, okay. I guess I don't need the plant. Uh, maybe we have to reduce the number of windows, go down to one there instead. Yeah, that's fine, that still looks good. Okay, we're under, we're under. But I do need a bed for me and at least one guest. So we need to figure that out. All right, well, we have doors and all that already. All our floors are concrete, I guess that's fine. So where am I gonna live? <laughs> I kind of want this bed, but that's 650. Oh my gosh, that's so expensive. But it's like perfect though. I guess we could do the cot 255. This is really big. You know, we, we don't have room. Okay, maybe this can be my room in here. I'm gonna sleep in here. That's nice. And then, <laughs> and then we can have a guest, I guess in here. It's a pretty nice room. Look, eventually this is, I think it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful room. I, I'm imagining it now, when we have money, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so I'm gonna save $700 somewhere. <laughs> okay, what? I guess we don't need this many windows. Let's get rid of some of these. They look good, but they gotta go. Likewise, these look good, but gotta go. Okay, I, can I keep, if I can keep one. Do I need this door? How much is that? 50 bucks? It's not that much. Um, what about floor trims? I can save money on floor trims. They don't save that much. And I think it looks, whoops. I think it looks better with the floor trim. It saves a little bit. Maybe we'll, we'll change the floor trims if we have to. Uh, let's change some of the upper floors back to just blank because that'll save money. Or I guess it was just that floor, all right. Maybe let's get rid of this door for now. Oh, that was only $40. I didn't really save anything. Oh, I like the aircon unit, but that's got to go because that's like a hundred bucks. Maybe get rid of this wall here and get rid of the, yeah, that. Okay, okay, we're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there. Two, three, one. Maybe we can downsize the number of windows here. We don't need two. What do we need? What? What am I, why do I, who do I think I am having two windows there? There we go, one. And same at the front, maybe we just go down to one. And we can add more later. Yeah, it still looks good. Okay. I'm gonna save 31 simoleons somewhere. I like that AC unit, I was considering it. I guess maybe now I can get rid of some floor trims. I'll get rid of that one, because that one's the least consequential, you can't really see it. Okay, well we're under now, and we have, I think we have everything we need. I'm just gonna move the whole thing back a little bit, because I feel like I'm too far to the front of the lot. So we're gonna go there. Now let's do some landscaping. And I know that's a bold word to use, but we can do a little bit for free. So look, it's an old building. You know, we got to renovate it and make it nice. Oops. Uh, so we're going to use this. So we're going to like build like a little pathway kind of thing here. I guess it'll go straight to the back or should we come to the side? I'm trying to figure out how this is going to, you know what, let's go here and then we're going to come this way. And I get, well, I guess we'll go here too. Otherwise that'd be annoying if we don't connect. And then I'm going to actually get rid of this bit. That's going to become a garden spot and here, there. And then I think maybe at the front, because if we go into um, debug, we can get a bunch of free tree. Oh wait, actually, hang on. That doesn't make sense. There's a big door there. So I'll do it here on the side. There are more there. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go into debug and we can get a bunch of free trees and create some nice little garden planters. Look, if you're coming here to stay, it's uh, so you can save money, I think. All right, that's good. So now what we're gonna do, bb.show hidden objects, bb.show live edit objects. And then we go, uh, oops, uh, debug. And we're gonna filter for rent. There's so many cool things actually like the, uh, the decorative tuk-tuks and all that are really cool. All right, so we've got like these kind of things, like and we'll scale that down. What other stuff? We've got a bunch of palm trees around here too. Some of these in. Let's have a look. Let's see what makes sense of where. Maybe this could go out here at the back. Oh, actually they even have really nice planters. Look at this, I can go right there. Oh, that's so cool. I suppose I could have saved money by using a lot more of this stuff in terms of decorations. Yeah, I'm gonna do some bamboo here. I think this is a nice little spot for it. Or do we wanna see the building? There? I kind of like the, the idea of that there. Maybe it'd be better here just so we can see the building a bit better. Cause you know, we built this pretty cool place and I wanna be able to see it. Yeah, that's a bit further back. And then we can do something lower down. Ooh. Power lines. Ooh. Oh, these are nice. Oh, there's a free tuk tuk. Yes. Let's go. Because the one in the catalog costs like a thousand simoleons. Yeah. Ooh, this is really nice. Can this go in here? Yes. Might actually scale it down just a smidge. There's some really good plants in here in this debug, which I wish they just had available like normally. Oh, this would be good to have like a. I create a little bollard thing here to stop people like driving through kind of thing, you know? Ooh, look at these. But there's no new like plants in the actual like uh, catalog for build mode, which I feel like there should be because some of these are really good. Oh yeah, there's also like uh, debug bikes and like a little bike rack, which is really cool. So you could do like a little, you do like a, your own little bike rack set up here and these like parked in it. Oops, I didn't put them far enough forward. Should be about there and that. Oh, a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just think this is kind of cool. <laughs> 
Oh, these are nice. Actually, maybe this can go here. to scale it down a bit. There you go. So now we have like at least a little bit of scenery around this place, you know? Like it's not just a random building in the middle of nowhere. Got a few little planters, a few nice little things here and there. What signs do we have? Yeah, even though it looks like a fruit basket, but don't ask questions. Ooh, yes. Let's get the, oh yeah, on the, on the outside of the utility room. There we go. Electrical like fuse box or something. Oh, cool. Is that, I think it's just that set of buildings there. Sweet. All right, we're done building, guys. <laughs> No, I think I'm actually really happy with this. Now the goal of this like will eventually be good. That's what I want to try and do. Though it's actually going to be really difficult because apparently this lot has fast internet. There you go. Uh, hang on, first of all, let me hit save. So if we go residential rental, this is going to be a unit here. Okay. Okay, so we've got room one and room two. And then I guess, whoops, this will be, you know, I guess room three and maybe four. I don't know how we're going to get there. But here's the thing. The rent on this room is going to be so low. We're not going to make any money. Um, unit value, it's 15. Oh, I guess actually, can I add these to it? I guess there's no point. You can't access it. There's no point in adding that. Uh, and then, yeah, this is all shared space. So, well, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, but yeah, the idea is to have a starter, a starter home or a starter rental block that you can buy from the very beginning and see if you can make money from it. I think we're going to have to also get another job to be able to earn money to pay for this because I don't think it's going to be possible with that unit. They have to actually be nice to earn money. The goal of for rent is to earn money uh, through being a good landlord. You don't actually earn much money if you're a bad landlord. It's not that kind of game. <laughs> so this is not going to earn as much. We're going to have to work hard to make it good. And I think that's going to be the fun aspect. But thank you so much to my top level members. And of course, all my members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. You too can become a member and get exclusive videos every single week. There's currently now, I think, 50 exclusive videos on the channel. So if you become a member, you can see all of them right away. But if you have any comments, suggestions or feedback, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.